So hey guys, and welcome to today's video. Today is going to be a little, just a little bit of an update video. Um, we had a couple things change. Actually, a lot of things change. Um, so we're going we're gonna to show you guys all the different things that have happened. Um, if you're here behind me, those aren't goat bags. We have two additional. We have two lambs now. I don't think you guys have seen the two lambs. So we have two lambs in the pen behind me. We have a new pen. So the cows are now by themselves and the goats are by themselves. Obviously, except for Snowstorm because Snowstorm is our buck. So Snowstorm is with the two sheep um, at the moment. But I cleaned up the shed, which I'll show you guys in a second. And uh, we're gonna do a little bit of feeding too, as I do all of this. So thing we'll start with is the shed. So I organized up here first. Um, you guys have never really seen how dirty the shed was, but it was pretty bad. So I have um, milk replacer back here, our special show feed right here that's for the hooves and stuff. Goat minerals. Um, that is what was that? That's stuff for foot rot, I think. And other. There's a fly on my hand. <laughs> this is fly spray, paper towels, um, sheen spray, sheen spray, um, some other sprays. These are gonna go in the show box here in a second. But um, hoof and heel, um, cleaner, like safe cleaner, and then um, some stuff for flies, a mix for like more mites and flies and stuff. Uh, blue stuff, or, I don't know, copper tox. <laughs> you put it on after, you put on, uh, goat stuff. Buckets, so these are together in this bucket, and the two big cow buckets, then these two buckets, and then our three scoops. Um, old cages, so an old guinea pig cage, and, well, an old cage, should be used for guinea pigs, but an old cage, and a dog crate. Um... Yeah, so we have this one and that one. This one, um, in case you ever have to port the guinea pigs, or ducks and chickens tend to go in here. When we, if we get new ducks and chickens and we get them in the winter or something, go in here. Dog crates usually for taking goats stuff. I was snowstorms home, <laughs> like uh, afternoon home. So I moved this around a lot. I used to have them all stacked out. I know you guys probably have seen that before, where I had it all over here and all stacked out. So I only stack. So I stack the bags that we don't have open over here stacked them up and then have all the open bags over here so it's not sticking out as much and it's more tucked away and also it's a better way to keep track of it so two goats the goats over here then the sheep and and then the cows so their minerals and then their bags then a couple of extra buckets that didn't fit up there that we don't use that often because those two need cleaned and these two we don't use because they're huge um and then this is our show box which I put over here, one, because the chicken shit over here, so it's like a ch chicken shit catcher. Um, and because as soon as it dries, it's pretty easy to get off of this. But this also just sits here because it can. So, that is the new and clean shed. You can see the floor. It's incredible. Look at the cows all by themselves in their big area. They're so excited. But, we gotta start feeding. So, with the two sheep, um... So this one's gets cheap food too. He just gets um, copper supplements. So I let him out um, in the evening usually. Eat for evening food. I let him out. Also, a part of this video, well, I might make that into a separate video. I'm going to be trimming hooves today. So that will be either in this video or in a video that comes out the week after. Because I'm trying to upload a video every week, which means I need to record this and edit this today because I've been a little busy this week. But, it'll, but it's, that's fine. Okay, so they get some in that, and then they have two other buckets in here. Um, these get left in here because they eat kind of slowly, to be honest. So, I'll let them eat as they want. There we go. So, so that snowstorm, he's doing good. He's gotten bigger since y'all have last seen him. He's, uh, get, he's getting there. These are the two sheep. Um, I don't remember the names. Um... I think Wayne calls them Mario and Luigi. I'm not 100%. But I think their old names were Spot and something else. But um, they're very pretty. And they're very cute. And they're pretty sweet, to be honest. They're not super afraid of people. They're not super duper afraid. Um, and news on the cows. Emblem is pregnant. Cookie is not. 
So that's unfortunate. Cookie did not take. Um, either to our bad timing or to the fact that she just didn't take because Cookie she likes to be but but Emblem is pregnant. In my last video I said maybe, hopefully. But we have officially confirmed that she is uh pregnant. So she's around by the end of this month she'll be two or three months pregnant. Um, the end of March. So May. <laughs> May. <laughs> March, April, May. We're in May. Whew. By the end of May, she will be uh, three months pregnant. So, go her. Yay. Let me bring down the two cap. Okay. Okay. So, I get two scoops of each feed. So, I'll be back in a second. So, usually, I'll have to push the cows into their... Anyway, <laughs> I usually have to push the cows into there, but I don't today because, well, I don't ever again, because the cows are all by themselves, so there's no goats to worry about. So, I'm going to sack the bucket to give it to them, and I'll be right back. So, there's five goats in our new goat pen, which I'll show you guys in a second. But, one, two, three, four, five. So, all the buckets we use to feed go up here. So that they are up Danny and open what? Danny opens anything. Hold this. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you do. So okay. all of our food buckets go up there so that they are not in the way of anything getting shit on. So. Well, the shelf already has shit on it, so. The shelf has a little bit, but it's not like a pile. It's not like it used to be. True. Bianca just kind of pours in whatever she pours in. What? Say so Bianca kind of just pours in whatever she pours in. No, it's enough to cover the bottom. Um, so they get this and then they get a protein feed. So they definitely are not getting a small amount. Have you seen Fawn's house? She's getting plenty of food, man. Have you seen? That's not something I wanted to hear. <laughs> well, have you seen her thickness? I have seen her thick. Two buckets left. She's a thick. She's a thick gal. Now we're gonna show them the new pen. You haven't okay, done that pause yet. Until we get over there. Right. <laughs> yes, I did. Well, because I thought you would already understand that I already unpaused it. Oh, okay. <laughs> we got a new pen up for them. Yeah. yeah. It's an electric pen. Yeah. Be careful, Bianca. It is a bit scary. Spooky, scary skeleton. <laughs> what are you all doing back there? What are you doing? Okay, everyone carry those. <laughs> <Get off the laughs> <door. laughs> this is the only really non electric except for that wall. So they're all hanging on it. They're up on at a time, so we can't take two buckets in at a time. Uh, make sure they don't eat Skeppy. Make sure the door doesn't Can you stand there? I don't care if you pause the video, but make sure the door doesn't <laughs> I can't zoom out anymore. Because I want to get them all in one big picture, but I can barely do that. Oh, I need an extra bucket. I forgot. We have another goat in here. You fucking <laughs> idiot. You're such an idiot. There's more than five goats. One, two. The other one was always in our stairs store. Yeah, I get that. In here. Well, let's have our own. Okay, I am paused. Now the bucket is not for Shake it, you numbskull! <laughs> you got two coming. Nope, never mind, they stop. Oh, one stopped. Nope. They'll just be there then. Getting kind of fluffy.
Hey, Bianca, you want to... You know Hey, Bianca. Do you, you want to test the electric wire? <laughs> Why not? And actually eat some grass. Yeah, so we'll them, uh, yep, Real one day project. Yeah, well, except for this. We did this previously. Yeah. But the yeah, there's that was just a one day project. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the only reason that took. That was not a one day project was because it had to be flattened out. <laughs> yeah, I'll come closer. New ankle time. Uh, the water starts getting electric. Okay. Okay, but it's constantly sparking. Because they um, won't eat it. Speaking, Wayne, watch the wire for this. But speaking of which, can you go turn the water off? Yes, here. Don't touch the wire. <laughs> Todd. 